Someone close to His Excellency Bobby Wine has revealed that President Museveni's government has installed a 360 degree surveillance camera in the middle of Lake Victoria, one mile away from Bobby Wine's One Love Beach in Busabala. According to the information from uh, the NUP camp, uh, President Museveni's government is planning to organize an ammunition laden boat to dock at the shores of Bobby Wine's One Love Beach in the night so that they can use that as an excuse to implicate Bobby Wine in armed activities and shut down his beach. Those who have been at Bobby Wine's home in Magere, they say that there is a very tall camera pole equipped with uh, another 360 degree surveillance camera that monitors whoever enters and what's going on inside Bobby Wine's compound. Yeah, so that's the latest coming in from Bobby Wine's camp. You know, they are trying to find a way to shut down One Love Beach in Busabala, according to the information from those close to Bobby Wine. But of course, I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Well, finally, the habeas corpus application for Jamshid Kavuma, Bobby Wine's bodyguard, has been fixed for hearing on Tuesday. It's reported that NUP lawyers will be asking High Court to order for the production of Jamshid, whether dead or alive. It's now 29 days since he was abducted and uh, the security forces are still mute on the disappearance of this brother. Now, the Deputy Inspector General of Police, uh, General Kasigazi, was recently in an interview on NBS TV and uh, he was questioned on why they are abducting Ugandans. He said as police, they don't take responsibility of what's going on in the country. No, I can't take the responsibility. Generally, I have to, we need specific areas, specific cases. Because some of these drones, the so-called drones, don't necessarily belong to security forces. Some individuals, some wrong elements in society could you use them, possibly uh, take away some personnel. Uh, on the issue of torture, General Kasigazi said some people have been involved in accidents, but they are paraded by some groups as victims of torture. Well, I, I, I don't know whether the, the scars were got from the security areas. Some of these, you have had incidents where victims of accidents have been paraded as victims of torture by some groups. So, uh, you see, there is sometimes, uh, there is no good faith. Sometimes when you produce some, uh, produce a, a person who has been involved in other incidents and say he has been tortured by the security forces. Well, there you go. That is uh, the deputy IGP right here in Uganda, Geno Kasigazi. The situation in Mubende district is getting worse as some residents have started taking their own life because of the tough conditions of living. On Friday, many of them expected President Museveni to lift the lockdown, but unfortunately he didn't. And uh, one of the residents identified as Biaruhanga yesterday decided to end his life because he couldn't take it anymore. Biaruhanga had six children. Kati munafunga satu e mabegao na nyimizamu na gamba nzo mugalu ngukoye ate sina cha kola kubanga na abana binsobedde kati na gamba ensi entamye nzo kujisibula njivwemu akawunga tibafade abana sina cha kubalisa now, his elder son said their mother also died last year during the lockdown. Well, 
baji bajeko balemele dwo kuwerera abana kusomero te bachi alina che balia abantu bonna batudde wakabuli omuta mainja dako well that's the very bad news coming in from that side of Mubende district and our prayers and thoughts are with those going through tough times that side in Mubende district <music> Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you right now on The Buzz UG. Of course, I told you that you got the buzz, you got everything in the entertainment industry and that in the current affairs. So you just have to subscribe and uh, be part of the family by tapping on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.